Alrighty, everybody, welcome back. So last night, something happened that Toronto fans did not want to happen. This is possibly the last thing that they wanted to happen against the Bruins last night. Well, they did beat the Bruins 2-1. Let's start off with that. They beat the Boston Bruins, a team that was red hot, was in a seven-game winning streak, almost a losing streak. Uh, they beat them last night, so very impressive win there for the Maple Leafs to definitely need it. However, Ilya Samsonov is hurt, and with Matt Murray now being injured as well, oh, yikes, it is not looking good. That was your starter and backup tandem completely thrown out the window. Oh, crap. So you start off, and there, and like, goalie controversy in Toronto has been a thing for what feels like the dawn of time. I want to say since probably Freddie Anderson, I've heard this goaltender controversy. And that's only when I got into hockey. I know there's been controversy before uh, with many other goaltenders. Not even, and like, I'm 15 too. I'm not like 50 years old and I've seen this team all the way back to like the 70s. No. No. I'm 15 years old, so I've only experienced a little bit of this goalie controversy. For me, it started off with Frederick Anderson and the Anderson controversy and how he wasn't going to get this team into the playoffs. Then it was Jack Campbell, and obviously Campbell and Anderson have now left, and Mrazic came into the equation, and now it's Matt Murray and Ilya Samsonov, and it's not even their faults because they're hurt. So let's take a look at them, the actual injuries here. So Matt Murray got hurt. Uh, just two games into the season, he only played one game. He was 0-1-0 against the Montreal Canadiens on opening night. Uh, he had a 4.05 goals against average and a .826 save percentage. He had an abductor injury during practice. I'm not kidding, abductor injury, very strange. And he was placed on LTIR, so they won't have him for a while still. And then last night against the Boston Bruins on a Brad Marchand penalty shot, uh, Ilya Samsonov suffered a knee injury. And there is actually no timeline, and he will not travel to Carolina, uh, which they play today at the time of recording this video, Sunday, November 6th. Uh, so Sam Sonoff, in eight games this year with Toronto, was 6-2-0, a 2.23 goals against average, and a .921 save percentage. So he was actually one of the goalies that was looking positive uh, in Toronto. He's looked very solid, but now he's hurt. So... What now for Toronto? That's the question that we ask. What goalie tandem, per se, is going to come in and uh, finish the job? Now, with the Samsonov situation, it's not entirely disclosed whether or not he will be hurt for a while. Um, it's not disclosed yet. There's no timeline. But obviously, as I said, he won't travel to Carolina, which they play today. So he's not going to be in for that game. And then they go back and play Vegas. And then I think they go on a road trip again. So... Yeah, not looking so good uh, for Toronto goalies 100% right now. Now, there are three other bona fide options that are signed technically uh, in Toronto or in the Toronto system, if I'm correct. Uh, first off, there's Eric Cauldron, who this season with Toronto has played some games with Matt Murray being out. Obviously, he's been in net. Uh, he's played four, but it only says he's 0-1. So either he got pulled or something else happened there. I'm not entirely too sure. Uh, he had a 3.28 goals against average and an 8.54 save percentage. So a little bit better than Matt Murray's stats, but not that much. So obviously Cauldron, he's looked iffy so far, but him as the starter, I I, I don't know. Um, he looked okay last year, but even last year he started started kind of just starting to really uh, drag off towards the end of the season, and I don't really trust him with that starting spot. If I'm being honest. Now, there is another goalie. It's Dennis Hildeby. Uh, Hildeby obviously was loaned to the SH SHL. Or the SHL. Not the SHL. That's my high school league. Um, he was loaned to the uh, Swedish Hockey League. He was actually drafted this year by Toronto. Signed to a contract. And his stats actually looked hopeful. Uh, he has a 2.33 and .918. With a 3-2-0 record in the SHL this season. So obviously, he's looked good. But I don't think he comes to Toronto. I don't. I don't even think he's able to uh, to come to Toronto. He might be able to on if an, if it's like an emergency loan. But I don't think so as of right now. Uh, so yeah, he'll be uh, one of the more interesting Toronto prospects that's on the rise. But he's not going to get um, a chance there, obviously, because I don't think he can. He's out in he's out in Sweden. So uh, then there is uh, for the last other goalie, there is Keith Pertuzelli, if I'm saying that name correctly. Uh, last night, he was supposedly signed to an AHL contract. 
uh, to be the backup or AHL NHL contract to be the backup. Uh, with the AHL, though, he's looked pretty solid. A 6-0 record with a .922 save percentage and a 2.31 goals against average. So he's looked all right with the Marlies this year. I mean, not all right. He's looked very good with the Marlies this year. So him coming up, maybe you have some faith in that he will do pretty well with Toronto. But still, I don't trust that. And I knew, and I literally knew this was going to happen. You go back and you look at my, um, you look at my season preview. For this team, I literally said, and I said it everywhere too, I said this goalie tandem is not going to fly. I said that people were not going to like this goalie tandem. I didn't think it would happen this way though. I thought it would happen in a different way where like, you know, the goalies would be bad. But in this case, Murray got hurt early, so it's kind of really too hard to tell if he's bad or good. Uh, and then obviously Sam Sonoff looked all right, but now he's hurt. I, st I still was somewhat correct here saying this tandem wasn't going to fly, and honestly, it hasn't. Uh, I just don't like the situation of this goalie tandem uh, in Toronto. Right now, best case scenario, your tandem right now is going to be Eric Cauldron and this Keith Perduzelli guy uh, heading into Carolina, if I'm correct. And I don't even think they were listed as a backup uh, goaltender. Could we see, and this happened with the Devils last year, and it's happened in other scenarios too, could we see an e-bug? Uh, have to come in here at some point and play a backup role for Toronto. Maybe even a starter role, if we're being honest. We saw this happen with the Devils last year. I don't think the guy ever actually played in the game, but I think it was John Gillies and net for the Devils, and um, the E Bug was the backup because they had so much. They they were one of the goal. They were one of the teams that had such a goaltender conundrum last year. So it's kind of hard to tell. But I mean, could we see that happen? Uh, in Toronto eventually at some point. But yeah, uh, this could completely change if Sam Sonoff is okay. Sam Sonoff could just miss this game against Carolina and then be back in time for Vegas and be okay. But still, though, I still don't like these odds. I still don't like this tandem. I still don't like the overall direction for Toronto right now. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you all very much for watching. For us, pros later, really do appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe down below if you are new. And anyways, thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.